Thank you. I really am. I'm almost emotional before we even start talking yeah. about it. But you wrote this great children's book called The Dragon Who Pulled Her Scales. Yes. And what what's the name of the d- disease that uh, Howell said before? Well, she, my daughter developed a, a condition um, called trichotillomania. Sometimes it's usually just referred to as trick. But it's a compulsive um, disorder, kind of like an OCD, I guess, um, of pulling hair mm-hmm. um, and... Yeah, you know, it happened a few years ago. When did she start? How old was she? Well, it was a few years ago. I'm horrible with timelines, so I want to say it was probably she was about seven okay. or so. Okay, all right. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, it, a lot of people, It's I think 2% of the population struggles with it. That's what's amazing. I learned mm-hmm. through all of this, the books I read and everything, I you know, all the research. But um, she would just kind of sit and you know it's often done in private because there's shame associated with it but um pulled her hair and uh she developed patches i mean we're talking the size of my Mm. hand you know and being a little little kid in school and me being a dad who had never ever heard of anything like this i freaked out Mm -hmm. i went into panic mode i'm like what is going on so um yeah i was gonna ask you is that kind of like with when kids cut it, is it, it the same kind of uh it's probably related i think it's all i mean she doesn't do that and mm-hmm. um but it's it's under a category was it repetitive body motions it's like a self-soothing mm-hmm. um so it it might be affiliated with that but for her it's just been Isn't that limited interesting, to cause you would think that would hurt you would um i don't see how, how that could be soothing but you know yeah. that's Wow. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of kids end up doing it and adults struggle with it mm-hmm. um, by pulling from, you know, eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Uh, is, lashes and stuff. It's common in lashes. She's never done that. It was more just her, her hair, you know. Do you think it had a lot to do with the, what was going on between her and, and her mother or your situation? Or is, maybe um, not. It doesn't have anything to do emotional, just. You know, I, I, I think. My understanding of it, and I'm I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just a daddy, you know, with a with a girl who has has struggled with this. Mm-hmm. But um, I think any type of stress definitely it it, it can be stress related. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know if I could point, you know, I, I there there's kids that are in what might be look like a perfect situation. Kids are not a perfect situation, and yet they still mm-hmm. they still struggle with it. So, but I do think it is a coping mechanism. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let's talk you know. about this. Let's the talk book, about yeah. the book. Yeah. Why did you write it? When 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 the concept come? Well, I, I mean, I wrote that in in the pit of despair, you know, which is sometimes where the best things, I guess, are are written. But I was freaked out. I was just a dad who was imagining my daughter, um, uh, you know, going through this and dealing with this. And I wanted her, you know, the hardest thing is I I just wanted her to know, like any dad would, you know, that she's beautiful no matter what, no matter how much hair she has on her head, mm-hmm. two hairs, three hairs, whatever. Um, I just wanted to know she's beautiful and even more important than that, that God still has a purpose for her. You mm-hmm. know, that there is a purpose that God is not going to give you anything that you can't handle. Mm-hmm. Um, and it will, we'll get through this together. And I was a mess. I mean, this, you know, I can it, imagine, you know, um, oh. the funny thing is, and I learned through, we found a really good counselor, Leanna Jorgulius. Um, yeah, hopefully maybe she'll come on. Yeah, she is great. And she you know, even told us the parents are the ones who were freaked out a lot of times, worried, and the kids that that just makes the stress even worse upon mm-hmm. the kids. But mm-hmm. anyways, I I knew I wanted to you know her to feel beautiful, and um, so I had the title in my head, the dragon who pulled her scales, and I knew I wanted it to be about a dragon who has a you know who pulls the dragon scales, and maybe dragons, other dragons in this dragon world think mm-hmm. she's different, but I wanted that very thing. To, to allow her to do something or to give her purpose. Oh, um, and there's boy. a there's a king, King Everwin in the dragon world um, is really a, an allusion to God, you know, mm-hmm. to Jesus. And um, he he interacts with this young dragon who pulls her scales. And it's really just, you know, his message, he always tells the dragon in the book, he says, you know, I will always be with you no matter what. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm wow. with you. And, you know, my daughter knows Ever when the king in the book is is really God, you know, and the God's God's. What a labor of love that yeah. you did for her. Yeah, it was. Has it helped at all? Is she? Is, oh, is she in? Is there a remission period? Do people ever outgrow it? Or well, let me tell you, and this has been pretty crazy, but yeah, she's doing wonderful. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't know. Yeah, um, she has a full beautiful set of hair. Mm-hmm. I think I'm one of those 
she is one of those amazing stories. But I can tell you, I was praying for her during that time and I, I was fasting and I'm not good at fasting. I love food, you know, but yeah, but, but you're um, both Winnie Langs for your children. Yeah. And I remember one night praying and I, I said, God, just please take this. And I felt like God spoke to me, you know, and you just said, wait, wait. And, um, and since that time writing that book and not that the book healed her, but I, I, I do think God was moving. God was doing something. The great physician, you know, she's been awesome. I mean, she stopped pulling. Mm. Um, she's had a couple little bouts with it, but it's been years and she has a full healthy set of hair. I, I it, we're one of the stories. It's crazy, you know, mm, because, wow. um, and I don't know what the future will hold. I don't know if, um, you know, this might be something on some level she struggles with. I don't know, but I know that she's doing it's amazing, you know. But you've given her the tools and the resources. You've given her, first of all, her Savior. Yeah. To know he will never leave and forsake her and that she can run to him. And plus, you've also taken the steps to be practical. Did, is this yeah. woman a counselor who deals with other children? Is there support groups for people? Yeah, she she's might a, want to tell people. That might, I'm sure that our audience might have. Yeah, Leanna Jorgulius, um, she's a counselor, so she worked with her one-on-one. -on -one, and she did, you know, a great job. A lot of it was just, just practical and letting her talk about it. Um, there's a woman, Noelani, who does the heart group we took her to as well in Long Beach, which is a group of kids who meet, you know, once a week and, and they're a support group and it's a support group. And, and, you know, it, I, it remind the whole thing kind of reminded me of how God works with us, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that is, and I was so tempted as a parent and it's a struggle to hover around her and don't pull your hair, don't pull your hair. And, but ironically, the more gracious you are and the more you love them and you say, you know what? I, I love you anyways. Mm -hmm. And, and I just want you to know you're beautiful and God has purpose for you. But the more that you take that approach, the easier it is on them and the less pulling that I saw. So it was really interesting right. and to God, let go. That's a, yeah. To surrender it and yeah. to God and let her. Yeah. So it, through this, you know, so it was awesome. So she, you know, she loves the book and she's, well, She's can people get it. the book or? Yeah, uh, you, you can buy it. There's a couple different places, but the easiest is probably Amazon. And it's good for any kid, even if they're not struggling with trick, but just a kid that might be dealing with something or, or yeah, feeling different. Yeah, they could be doing other thing, cutting. They could be, yeah. you know, or, or starting to take pot or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever kids go, you know, they go through things. But, but the beautiful thing is to be in support with others who are going through the same thing. Yes, yeah. And. What kind of response, I, I wanted to ask you, what kind of response mm -hmm. did you get from other people regarding the book? Yeah, well, it's, it's been awesome. You know, when I first wrote it, I just wrote it for my daughter. I never thought of anything beyond, and then I realized people could benefit from it. So I've had parents write me um, from, you know, across the country. You know, I've oh, had different goodness, people write, good. and they've said what it meant to them and how it's helped them. There was There was one email I got a little while ago of a mom who has a little girl who um, – uh, takes the book to bed with her every night. Oh, really? You know, he just crawls in bed and reads. He struggles with tricks. So you hear things like that and you're oh, just like... Oh, you got to know. It's right. awesome. You so, know, God, you often wonder, Lord, why don't you just take these things? Yeah. But he, you know, he sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. But what he does is he uses. Yeah, he uses And it. I think we grow in these things that we go through and, and yeah. uh, overcome. Yes. We become stronger people and how loving. I was yeah. thinking you should contact Dr. Phil. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, hey, I <laughs> yeah. mean, he probably would like that, you know, t to have you come on with your book and, yeah. and to, because that that's a big, cool. huge thing. I've heard, I saw that on 2020. I was shocked Yeah, that it, people go through that. I'm like, wow, you just never know. Yeah, and a lot of people, it's, you know, there's a little bit more awareness of it, but a lot of people, it's very misunderstood. Yeah. So um, I'm just blessed that it's it's helped people. And I mean, I feel like I'm just riding the wave, you know. I wrote <laughs> the story. It was one night. I was sitting on my couch. I was freaked out for my daughter mm -hmm. and I just wanted to give her something that you're going to be okay. And the fact that other people have read it and it's meant something to them is that's beautiful. It's super cool, man. I'm just totally beside just myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, now me, the suspense person, I love, in fact, well, I'm the suspense. I want to, now yeah. that's my uh -huh. genre. I love suspense stuff. In fact, yeah. I'm mad because John Cusack and Nicholas Cage have a movie out called frozen and I want to see it. And it's not, it's not around, so <laughs> this well, one, this I was really captivated. Tell me about this one. Living Sacrifice. Now, this is your new novel. It's not out yet, but it, it will be out. It'll be out in about a month, maybe two, so 
October, maybe November, the latest. Yeah, yeah. tell right. me a little, tell bit. Us a little yeah. bit about this. This one is not a kid's book, but having yeah. said that, it's family friendly. Ooh, it's not, it. you know, <laughs> it's um, it's really a story. I mean, make a long story short, it's it's suspense, it's um, adult fiction, but you know, family friendly. It's nothing, you know, um, that wouldn't be good for pretty much anyone. But story about a guy who um is on vacation. Make a long story short, someone tries to kill him basically another man um saves his life dies in his place so this main character goes back from vacation his life has just been saved by this stranger um who stepped in the way of a bullet for him and he starts having these dreams um and he's haunted by these dreams of this woman who is um murdered or in his dream and he finally realizes what it is it's a future homicide um and he is being called to die in her place. That's oh, incredible. Wow. I was yeah. reading the back of that. I'm thinking, wow, I want to, <laughs> yeah. I want to walk home with this tonight. Yeah. So it's a, it's kind of like this chain of sacrifice. Like going paying back. forward. I mean, exactly. oh my god, it's a lot to pay. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. how very interesting. Our savior. I mean, I, yeah. I just know this is awesome. Yeah. And wow. It's, it, it's, it's really just the whole idea of sacrifice and laying down your life, the story of the gospel. But it's. Well, I was going to ask that. What got you to write this? What, what was what was your your, yeah. your, your your passion behind it? But I, you kind of just yeah. said it a little bit right That's now. Yeah, cool. I, I remember being in a bookstore. It's fine. I never know where ideas come from. <laughs> I, I It's hard for me to pinpoint it. But I, I do remember thinking it'd be kind of cool if you put a normal person, a guy – in a place where he had to do what Jesus did in a way, like like lay down your like a metaphor for that for is Jesus. too much. <laughs> Can so I have this is. book? Yeah, is this I the only like, copy you have? That's the only copy I have now. Oh, but I, I will give, I'll give you one I'm next not week. Playing. <laughs> okay, I do read. I ask whole well. I take yeah, the books home. The books home. I took the book the books home from our guests and I read them. That's cool. I okay, will, so I, will I, give will, you I one. can't Absolutely. wait. Absolutely, I'm a, guys, I love your book. The suspense is my heart. So I well, the, well, let's talk about where you know you have a Facebook fan page. You can go to facebook.com backslash living sacrifice. See my mood. I'm, or is it I, William Michael Davidson? I actually have a few, um, and I'm horrible with the web addresses and all that. He can do them, honey. That's your well, talent. I, <laughs> what it is, it's Facebook backslash Michael uh, William Michael Davidson, and you can like the Facebook fan page, and then you'll talk about more on the Facebook fan page when it gets released and where it, you can purchase absolutely. it. Absolutely. And there's a page for the dragon who pulled her scales, mm. and there's a there's actually a page for Living Sacrifice, the book itself, just getting some oh. buzz generated, you know. I'm excited. 